Good morning. So what day is it today? It is Zoo Day. Zoo Day. It's Sunday the 15th of May and we are at Chester Zoo. There's nothing new, Mrs. It's still just the elephant. Uh, we'll have a look on the way out maybe. So we're just heading in, it's quarter past ten. We got parked in the front row, didn't we? Yeah. Which never happens. So I I'm know. hoping that means it's a really quiet day. So let's head in and see what we can see. We are in and we always have that thing. Are we gonna go right or are we gonna go left? So what Today we're we... actually going left. Well it's right if you're walking towards it though. Yeah, it's right. Okay. So it's like Epcot, do you go to Mexico or do you go to Canada? Um, but uh, Matilda, what do you want to see today? I want to see the zebras, the Andean bears, and the painted dogs, and the meerkats, and you want to get Dole Whip. And you want Dole Oh, that's why we've come this way. You want to go to the islands for Dole Whip, do you? No, I just thought I wanted to see the animals. But it is so quiet, isn't it? It did forecast a bit of rain later, so I wonder if that's put a few people off, or maybe people who stayed up to watch Dad, Eurovision. Hey, I've just said... I've got something. What's that? The only island has the new big dome that's reopened. Yeah. That'll be empty. It might be. That would be great. Oh, okay, well, we'll see if we can make it there. So we've got to head over here. We've got to turn right here. And I think the first one we might see some rhinos. We've Ooh. made it round to the rhino enclosure. It does smell a bit, doesn't it? So there's one rhino on its own over here. And then they've got two rhinos in this field. I'm not sure if it's mother and child or... Go under, so the rhinos yeah, it does. They can, they can, it's just a bit further around. Oh, that one's coming up! Yeah. Mum, they're coming towards us! Look at that! What? This is amazing! So these are the ones with two horns, I think, and then there's one with this, another group with one horn a bit further around. Here comes the baby rhino. We just missed it, but it started running up the hill, didn't we, Mrs? Found some grass. Yes, yeah, so it is mother and baby. Look at it. It's so funny. Oh. <laughs> I can't see it go running. There it goes, it's running again. Yeah. And now we've got right up close to the male rhino. He's been left on his own, isn't he? Yeah. He's got a full field to eat him. So we're going to head around now and see if we can spot some meerkats. Meerkats! Look at the little one digging. There's one digging. There's one. Oh, it's right on the ground. Look at it. Look at it. There's always one on watch, isn't there as well, Mrs? Yeah, there's one on watch just up there. Look at this up there. Then there's one on watch. There's three, two or three huddled all together. Oh, there's that one. It just popped up his head from behind that log. Uh -huh. His head just popped up. Yeah, because there's all tunnels underneath, isn't there? <laughs> his head just popped up. Alright, shall we walk around and see what else we can find? So we're just watching the meerkats and the rhinos just walk behind them. I'm not sure what the meerkat on guard would do if that decided it was going to come in. No, are you? No, look, now they're all talking. Just come round the corner and we are literally face to face with the rhino. This is amazing. Tell me a nice drink. So we're saying goodbye to the rhinos and we're heading yeah, we're heading into all the newer areas of the zoo now, aren't we? That's been regimed in probably the last decade. Yeah, so we're hoping to see around here some painted dogs and some rock hyraxes, aren't we? Let's see what we can find. It's actually just around this corner, isn't it? And here we go, we're into the painted dog reserve. Makamazi painted dog reserve. Do you think we'll find any messes? Yeah. So they have got quite a big area. Obviously not as big as the wild, but it's quite a big area. There's a few times that we've not managed to see it. But it is nicely themed. They've got like the binoculars there and there's other bits of theming as well. For the areas of the zoo that they've done really nicely. 
Maybe they're inside, the sleep messes. So on our way to find the painted dogs, we found the rock pyroxes. Oh, there's one on top of that rock. Look at the one on top of that rock. On top of what rock, Mrs? Look how cute. Let's look and see something that I can't. Oh, oh yeah, right up at the top. I don't think you'll be able to see it because of the reflection, but there's one right up at the top as well. But we found one of the pack of painted dogs just sat there. Chilling and sunbathing, isn't it? It can smell Matilda. It can smell Jasper. All the rest are asleep in the den. <gasps> Let's go and look in the den, see what we can see. That one's just woke up to have a check and then nipped back in. Oh, he's just gone. Look at them. It's been a long, hard, tiring day, hasn't it? Look at them, having the little hands. Oh my gosh, there's loads in there. I know. They had loads, like the mum and dad had loads of babies. Seem to be having really good luck today, don't we? We just walked over and the zebras are never normally out. They're always over the other side, but they've come over just as they've walked out, haven't we? And there's four of them. What does we always four? go like to the islands, don't we? Yeah. And then we come back that way where we come back yeah. like behind yeah, the trees, like, don't the we? Yeah, because the islands are there, so I think you come along the path like this yeah. and you naturally just go that way into the island sometimes we see them a little bit through the fence there but yeah. unless you actually come down this path and they're normally the other side of those big yeah. trees aren't we and i think you tend to not come down it because then this leads you back to the front doesn't yeah. it, i think right, should we head we'll over to, to the island then? oh no yeah. so we are on the islands this is by far the best themed area of the zoo isn't it it's yeah it's, I think it's, it's not the newest anymore the lion bits no, the newest but, but like this is like a whole new land order yeah. isn't it? a whole new section never ever top tip never get suckered into going on one of these boats you don't but, see anything no but i'd say you need to do it once just for the sake of doing it but mm. most of the time you don't see a thing apart no. from maybe the warty pigs or something <laughs> But it gives you a tour around the sides of all the enclosures. Yeah, so there's potential not, to see stuff you yeah, just never do. I would do. not wait for it. No. Like, people wait over an hour for it. It's definitely not worth that wait, even if you've never run it before. Yeah. This really does just remind me of Animal Kingdom, though. It's done yeah, really it's well. Yeah, it's, it's never open, open like is now, it? I'm really, really thirsty. And it says they're fruit coolers. But it's never open. I think they do miss out on money off people. So Laura's really disappointed that she can't spend the money. No, I'm just not bothered. But I mean, they're four pounds three ninety five. But I'm just saying. What are we hoping to get, Mrs? We got some um, binoculars from there as well, didn't we? Binoculars. Oh, I can't <laughs> say binoculars. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> head round because I say binoculars and see what, what we can spot they? today, aren't we? So we're doing a really good job of spotting animals that we don't normally spot today, aren't we? This is the dusty Padamelon um, and I've just seen behind me that the cassowary is out as well and here is the cassowary, another one that we've not seen here for a while isn't it? The southern cassowary. Oh, I don't like to upset one of these would you? No, I think we've seen one of them once but I've never seen two of them together. No. One's a male and one's a female because one has a blue. Maybe it's because it's nicer weather or something, yeah. I don't know. They're just so, aren't they? Is that what they say? Yeah. So what? Right, let's Vicious. head around and see what else we can see. We're doing really well today. So here we are and we've just found the silvery gibbons. So this is their outdoor enclosure. So this is at the very top of the islands where you go into the indoor bit. Um, and I just sat there, so I'm just sat there eating. And then the one on the top there was kind of like tying the rope up a minute ago and making a big thing for him. So gosh, he's just walking on the thing. Nice two feet, and he was just walking along. He seems to have found some food to now that's settled down a bit. There's one of the big hammock. Yeah, he's in, in like a hammock up there, isn't he? Sat down. Let's see if they can get around him and see him. Is that the one he was tying the rope? Zoomed in a bit, then. So let's zoom out a bit. There he is, yeah. <coughs> he didn't have much now, and now they've all got
They were jumping around a minute ago, wasn't they? Swinging. Look at that one there. With that that big one sat one. down there. See the big one down there? Yeah, it's with the Oh, there's one on the fence there as well. Oh, wow. Sneak through the little V of the tree. Okay. He's just sat on the bottom of the fence. They're very cute. So we're going to head inside and see what we can see inside. So, as I say, we're going to go in, they decide they're going to start swinging and showing off. Cheeky monkeys. Yeah, they're chasing each other for the piece of food one of them's got. So it's like, oh, you've got a bit of better food there. I might try and steal that. He's just sat on top of that green pole. He's literally oh, perched yeah. on top of the pole, holding a piece of rope. Look at that. It's so clever the way they can do that. Oh, they're not bothered now, are they? Now they're like, I've got the food. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Laugh again. Oh, it looks like there's loops on it, Matilda. See how he's tying it through the loop? Oh, yeah. He keeps putting the rope through the loop, this one. That's sat near the um, hammock. Oh, he's off. <laughs> oh, now the other one said I'm taking his spot. See what he's left behind here for me. So we are now in the building, but as we thought, all of the, um, we saw the silvery gibbon outside and I think the Sumatran orangutan was at the top of the hill on the other side to where the silvery gibbon was. Um, but we kind of did the cut for you because otherwise you have to go all the way around, up and past the tiger, right up the hill past the tapirs. Um, and you rarely see the tiger and you rarely see the tapirs. And my health's not the best at the minute, so um, I can't really walk up that big hill. It's just far too much for me. So we took the shortcut where it's not as high up on the hill, um, so that was a lot easier. But Matilda loves all these things. So this is the giant walking leaf. So it's really hard to see. Oh, it stopped walking now. <laughs> it was easy to see when it was actually moving. But basically, that that I'm zooming in on now, I'm just going to use my finger slightly to point. So that there underneath my fingernail now, that is the giant walking leaf. So those little two things at the top, I've actually done its antenna or its eyes. But that is actually the walking leaf. It was just moving a minute ago. So if you know what that one is now, you can see there's one there, there's one there, there's one over there. So it's easy when you know what they are to kind of spot them. Um, but otherwise, it's really, really hard to find them. What else I love these as well? Question mark cockroaches. They're really strange. Um, you can barely see one just behind that little... Oh my gosh, yeah, I can see one on the can little glass. The little I can see one on the glass. Um, leaf. Have you seen the um, walking leaf? Oh, where are these today? Well, see, look, see that one right there in front of you, look. Oh see, yeah, it's wiggling look, a bit now. it's wiggling a bit. Oh, there's that's another one, I can see another one. Mm, maybe we can go this way, let's get a better view of it. That's it there. So that is the walking leaf. So you can see it really does just look like a leaf. <laughs> great for camouflaging from predators mm -hmm. but really this, this is um yeah it's never this quiet there's literally i don't think there's one people in here in a minute yeah literally are the only people in here um but this is always good for coming up here because even though there is the monkeys and things there is all these little other bits so that was just there yeah then there's like these little bits in here what's your favorite matilda the jeweled wasps these ones here they it? lay their eggs inside cockroaches, which are their mates. So they lay their eggs inside them. When the eggs hatch, mm. they eat their dad. So they lay their eggs inside a dead cockroach? Yes, no, inside an alive cockroach. Here are all the ones. So these are and, cockroaches? Yeah, and they've got eggs inside. Oh, and the okay. eggs will hatch inside them. Mm. And eat them. And then, they'll eat, and then they'll eat the cockroach? Yeah. Oh gosh, wow. So that is. Two to one hatch. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's up there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. there, it's huge. Wow. The tarantula, you can barely see it, but it's basically in that section of log that I've just zoomed in on. There's that is the tarantula. Mm -hmm. There's an arrow pointing to it, actually. So you can see it must always be in that section. It's there, Matilda, in the log. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, if you look at it from where I'm, you can really <laughs> yeah, see it. Yeah, no, you can. I've just seen it. Then there's things like tentacled snake here. Oh, where's the tentacled snake? Um, Weird! Oh yeah, that's like, um, it's like a snake. You can see like the pattern on it, can't you, with the snake? Oh, and Matilda yeah. loves the um, vampire crabs, don't you, round here. Yeah, so there's none of the orangutans or the gibbons in this bit either. 
they do have big eyes, but they're all outside at the minute, aren't they? I don't think the vampire crabs have gone outside today, though, have they? Carlos turned cannibal in mating season, and he used their best chance of mating as well. Oh no, that's not very good, is it? So they had to try and control. Oh, something jumped in the water then. There's a few different things in here, they're not just vampire crabs, is there? There's vampire crabs, there's the Borean rock frog. There's the emerald tree skink and there's a cinnamon frog, but we're really, really hard to find. So I think we'll move on to the next section. Well, we've just come through to the next section and there's literally nobody in this one either. The birds are just come and sweeping right down to eat the fruit here. Yeah, a little bit. But that one's beating up there in the tree. There's a black one up there tweeting. Oh, he's fine. Oh, well, here's a list of what you can find. There's a few things there, Matilda. So the grass beak starling. Yeah, he's those black ones with a little yellow beak. I like the crested partridge. I don't know. You like the crested partridge, don't you? You've seen them a lot before. Could be anywhere though, because it's all here. Then there's netting around this bit, because that's actually where the crocodiles are. And um, so they do net that bit off. Um, but they've got all the space here, and then like all down there as well. So they could be anywhere. We can't decide on what these are called. So it's the Sulweezy Crested Macaque, I would say, like decoding it phonics wise. Um, but there's loads of them in here. So these ones obviously haven't gone out yet. Um, I don't know if there is a way out. Oh, you found it. Oh yeah, there is a way out there. They're just not gone out yet, actually. Um, but there's like a little baby. Oh, he's climbing down. Oh, bless it. It's really trying its best. Oh, it did it! Oh, oh, the little sweet thing! It just slid all the way down that branch, Matilda, on its bum, and then it swung off. Oh, there's another little baby climbing up there now as well. They're getting adventurous, these little baby monkeys. I'm trying to work out. Gosh, there's lots of babies in there at the minute. There's another little baby. There's at least three babies there. Because they're definitely smaller than the mummies and the daddies. Coming to tell them off now, look. Here they come. They're like, where have you all been? Wow, Matilda has found the Quint monitor lizard. It's huge. Wow, look at it. Oh, look at its head. It's Look at those claws on it as well, wow. That could easily slice you open. Or slice anything. So we've just come down to the bottom. So we were at that window up there where you can just slightly see those people. And then you follow it round and you come down here so you can see them a little bit better here because they're all just sat together. But just so you know, it is absolutely sweltering in here. It's basically like being in a greenhouse. So in the winter, it's amazing because it's so warm. Um, it's lovely to come in and warm up in the winter, but in the summer it's just boiling. Um, and in the winter, Matilda's glasses always steam up when we come in, don't they, because of the change in the heat. Um, they seem to be grooming each other at the minute, though. They're having a good grooming session, aren't they? Yeah, oh, having a little go. That one's grooming his own toes. Look. <laughs> they don't need to go to the groomers now. They do it to each other. Look. Pulling yeah, bugs off each other and they eat yeah, them. Yeah, and you can pick off the bugs mm, and He's giving him a good groom now. He's brushing his hair and everything. Look at that. Oh, no. He's getting a five-star groom. <laughs> five he's got his bum in the other one's face now. That's not very nice. He <laughs> also doesn't trump. Look at that little one. It's like, uh, excuse me. Oh, mm, goodness me. It's like... This is the first section that you come to for the crocodiles. So this is if they were out of the water this is where you would see them. So they have like the basking lights here um, and all like the little area here to lie on, but I think they must be underwater because they're not here. So we'll go through to the next bit, see if we can see them. Whoa. Just spotted it coming towards us on the top. You can just see its eyes looking at us. Just spotted it underneath, there it is. Wow, look at that. That's a big boy. Oh, he's looking at us, he's just stopped. Oh yeah, there. that turtle is real, it just moved its fin. Did it? It just moves its I think fin. it might be moving in the water. Wow. They must have a more back bit over there then. Yeah. You can't see. It's down. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's going down. Oh, 
Here's his mouth. This is amazing. Oh, look at its eye. Look at its, its eye is really wicked. Like, it looks like an evil eye. Oh, it must be able to go under here, look. Wow, that was amazing seeing that crocodile like that. We've never seen it do that before. Um, now we're at the tall toy says, they're just not they're just not doing anything. They're being very lazy. But it says, if you see our tortoises in the water, don't worry, they can swim. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Look, he's got some cabbage. You're eating your food. There it is. Hello, Mr. Tortoise. Oh. You're enjoying that cabbage. Oh, my gosh, it's so cute. Are you looking in the camera? It's beautiful. Yes, he is. Just what the tickle of that head. Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> cute. Oh. cute, aren't they? Oh, my little love these ones. <laughs> it's just like oh, it's the Western, oh. no, the something crested crowned pigeon. Hello. That is what they mean by free flying. It's a crested crowned pigeon. Oh, look, it's maybe it's getting that for its nest. Oh, it's found another one. Look, that's what it's found. Look at all the little ones in here. Look. What's in here? Look. Oh, look at those in there. I think that's the. I don't know. I don't know. The duck found one. They're so cute. It's still on the walk. This one. I don't know where it's going. It's still going somewhere. <laughs> And the other one's up there in the tree. So, guess where we found ourselves? Stole it. <laughs> that one got that. Stole it. I didn't have any thoughts about it in my mouth, I just holded it in my mouth. <laughs> so, we're. Alright, and so, so we've managed to get a normal one, which is the pineapple float, and then we've got an orange swirl float as well. Sorry, so, so I did ask if she'd mix them, and she said, yeah, but then Daddy decided that he wants just a normal pineapple. So we ended up just getting a pineapple one and an orange one. Mm -hmm. And I have to actually say, the orange one is way better than the pineapple one. It's just got a lot more flavour no, to it. Some pineapple in the and in um, 85 days, we'll be having all these for real. But I think, to be fair, the pineapple one doesn't taste as good here as what it does in Disney. In no. Disney, it really does taste a pineapple. Mm. Here, it doesn't. Whereas this orange one really has got that orange taste to it. I think I'm right, had, we a, took in had a raspberry one here before, haven't we, or something? Yeah, raspberry. Yeah. yeah and it was for both raspberry. of them with our annual pass discount was £8.10. Yeah, I think they were £4.50 each, I think, normally. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's almost about 10%, I think. Yeah. Um, so we'll tuck in and we'll see how nice it is. We're just sat here enjoying our doll whips, and there's two ducks that think they can have some as well, isn't there, sis? No, don't chew them, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we got the doll whip from. And what do we think of it then? It's a swirl whip. Swirl whip. Huh? I'm sure they used to call it doll whip. Yeah. Maybe Disney has told Well, no, it's pineapple. Doll is the name of the company. Oh, maybe they don't do that. Yeah. That's like tastes different now, though. What did you think of it then, Mrs? It was good. I'm trying to spot the northern babaroo. So. so I'd say that the orange one was more oh, well, tangerine like, would you? Yeah, like was, mandarin tangerine. It was very orange, as in like it was as if it was almost, um, oh, what's the word? Eating <laughs> I'm really orange. struggling for words at the minute. No, like um, artificial. Yeah. Like the colouring. But I don't think it was. I think it was just because it was more tangerine than orange. Mm. Um, so it was very, very orangey. But the flavour was really good as well. It was very yeah. tangerine y. It wasn't like really tangy, um, but it was a bit, so it was very refreshing. Um, but then again, into that, once I got, once I had a bit of your pineapple, once you'd got more down into it, I found that was quite yeah. um, more refreshing as well. So it might have just been the top bit of the pineapple one that wasn't. It was the a best. nice refreshing break though, wasn't it? Yeah, but I've just realised as well that we're going to be staying at the Polynesian, yeah, where the actual the proper doll whip stand is. Um, and we've never. Um, been to the actual proper stand before, have we? At the door, uh, I think we went once and got a lime one, but that was just on a random night. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. 
And so we're going to head off now and we'll see what else we can find. We've just spotted the capybaras. Love these. They're just like a giant hamster. I could them. just imagine having one in my garden, just like running around. Because I know that there are people in the world who have capybaras. Maybe. You'd have to have a big garden for them though. But sometimes we've seen them jumping in that water there behind them and like jumping out. They're so funny. They're just like sunbathing at the minute, aren't they? Look, they've all got their eyes shut sunbathing. Just like all sat in a row having a sunbathe. So, so we're just heading towards the front of the zoo and we've realised how lucky we are with what time we got here. It's now about quarter to twelve so we've been here an hour and 45 minutes but it is getting really busy now. And we've just spotted some little monkeys. It's like weird see them just coming out. Oh there's one there, look right in front of you lying on that road. Oh my god they're asleep. But if you look down there it's definitely getting busier now than what it was and we've made it to the best part of the zoo haven't we missus so it's the elephants no we were nice and we had a time for everything this morning so i think they're the four youngest aren't they three youngest with a mum yeah and just came to war with his puss then Reva's right next to the mum. Darley, yeah, um, Reva, a little one next to Andan, and Reva's almost as big as a mum. <laughs> getting big now, isn't she? Mm. Andan's getting big. Just seeing Darley, little now. Oh, sorry, not in Darley. Reva, little, isn't she? Mm. Yeah, such nice animals, aren't they? Oh, no. Oh, wow. And that is going to conclude our day at Chester Zoo. So it's beautiful now, like the sun is shining, like yeah, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous isn't, it? isn't it? There is a little bit, it's got, every time I think of like clouds being in the sky, I always want to think of that Bruno song, like there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Um, but there is a little bit of clouds, isn't there? Um, not many, just a few clouds. Um, but we've had a nice day, haven't we? What do you think? Did you have a nice day? Yeah. yeah. What was your favourite thing you saw today? Uh, the bird because it was like walking along. Oh, the bird walking along on the floor. The western crowned so pigeon or something, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we liked that, didn't we? So we're going to head we're going to head to my mum's to pick up Jasper now, aren't we, first? And then Matilda's got a netball game later, haven't you, as well? So we're going to head to there. So thank you for watching. What do people need to do? Like and subscribe. And hit the bell. Bell. Thank you. See you later. Bye.